today is Tasty Takeout Dickie's Barbecue is joining us. And you know what? We actually have Chef Phil Butler. He's joining us live via Zoom. And not only are you going to tell us all about what Dickie's Barbecue has to offer, but you're also going to show us how we can put together a barbecuterie board <laughs> instead of a charcuterie <laughs> I board. I like that term a lot. Chef, thanks for being <laughs> with us. Oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate y'all having me on. Oh my goodness, we have all the fixins right like in front of us. Spread. So where do we begin? Well, you know, in Texas, I mean, we are in Texas. I'm actually at the original location. Uh, we are celebrating our 80th anniversary. But in Texas, like we would say, this is the barbecue board and it would stop right here. But with Instagram and how much the families are getting together, you know, charcuterie boards and the boards themselves have just kind of gotten a life of their own. So we wanted to take that barbecue and go to that barbecuterie board uh, and just go over the top with flavors and textures and let the family kind of have fun with it, whether it's a barbecuterie board or even just something as simple as Taco Tuesday, just deconstructing the ingredients and letting everybody have fun, build their own tacos, whether it's with our pulled pork, jalapeno cheddar sausage, our kielbasa, or our sliced or smoked chopped brisket. I love all of the options we have here. I mean, you, you guys have hooked us up here. So tell us a little bit about what makes you all so special because mm -hmm. I know your, your manager who's here with us locally said that you guys do all this stuff the day of, it's fresh. Ah. Yeah, all of our barbecue is done in every single one of our restaurants. It is smoked over hickory smoke. It's a low smoke process. Uh, you know, we say it is a process. It is not processed. Uh, and we've been smoking meat since 1941. Wow. In every single one of our restaurants. Mm, well, let me I tell you. That like? I like that because there's a little cheese in there. Right? Yes, I, I'm sitting here nibbling, chef. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I am so, happy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this together. And really what I wanted to show is, I just took ingredients from my pantry and whether my pantry from the refrigerator or you know some of the crackers, uh, I've got Hawaiian rolls to make some pulled pork sandwiches. Ooh. You know, Texas toast, baguettes, cheese, can't forget the cheese. Uh, and be creative with the cheese. I mean, different textures, sharp che uh, cheeses, to some of the more mild, even smoked cheeses go really well. Uh, the other thing is, you know, cheese crackers and playing off more of those cheese flavors all the way to pimento cheese uh, that you can spread on a sandwich as well. Uh, you know, what I always tell people is sweet flavors go really well with barbecue. Uh, vinegars and fruit flavors go really well. So like, I've got a pepper jam here. I've got a fig jam. Mm. Uh, I've even got like right here, I've got orange marmalade and I can actually just take some of our chopped jalapenos and add that to the orange marmalade. And I've got a great little barbecue accompaniment. Uh, and then, you know, and mustard, don't forget the mustards, especially for the different sausages oh, yeah. and like pickles and olives. So, like this is pickled okra. I've got some spicy uh, pickled cauliflower. And, you know, and lastly, when you're filling the areas, you know, add some fruit. Okay. This is all about, it's all about, it's all about snacking. It's all about filling that board. And, uh, you know, at this point in time, I'm going to get my camera out first and Instagram it. And then I'm going to get my camera over. <laughs> Chef, it's like, you know, it's like you know me because that is exactly what I would do. And I wouldn't think about fruit. That's so interesting. Now, can we talk sides really yeah, quickly? Yeah, say what I'm noticing some great beans and we got some fixings over there. Yeah, absolutely. So all of our beans, you know, potato salad, even if you're doing like this little barbecue board, the potato salad and coleslaw, these are great carriers for flavors, really good textural breaks. You know, even doing a slider with pulled pork, a little bit of potato salad and some crisp fried onions on it. It's not what you would think, you know, you would expect but the textures and the combinations, they go so well together. And then if you want to do sides, definitely our jalapeno beans, our baked beans, and then of course our mac and cheese, the best mm. mac and cheese that's out there. Oh man, yes. well dickies.com, if you want some of this great feast, chef, thank you so much. Now we have another, uh, Talent, a barbecue yeah, board. Yeah, we're gonna wow our guests. Chef, thanks for being with us. We appreciate you. 